Yo, what's up? It's Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this video, it's all about creating dynamic labels using the new selected value in Power BI. Stay tuned. Okay, so dynamic labels. There's lots of stuff out there on the internet already. So why are you doing this video? Well, because um, I get a lot of emails about it. Hey Patrick, you created this report. I saw that when you click the slicer, you drill from one report to the other. You had this label at the top that was all based on what was drilled or what was selected. So I said, why not just record a video on it instead of responding to a whole bunch of videos. Let me show you guys how to do it. Now, if you go look in the quick measures gallery, there's an example on how you do this. Mine's got a little twist to it. I'm using the selected value function. I'm gonna show you how to use the selected value function instead of using what's used in the quick measures. And I didn't go through all the quick measures. Somebody out there may be using the quick measure. Um, I'm not, I just didn't go and check them all, okay? Um, but I'm gonna use selected value, all right? You know how I do. The best way for me to show you is what? To head over to my laptop. All right, so to get started, find the table where you want, your measure, yeah, I said measure, we're gonna create a measure to live. So in my case, it's gonna be the product table. Click new measure, and we're gonna call this selected country, okay? Because what I wanna do is, I have two pages in this report, my overview page and my details page. On my overview page, I wanna drill from that page and filter, I have drill through specified on color and country. And I'm gonna filter the details based on those two values, and I wanna show those values on the report, okay? So select the country equals, let's start by using a variable. If you guys don't use variables, definitely go find, find some resources, look them up, read about them, they're really good, they really can enhance the performance of your models, all right? So I'm gonna use a variable, I'm gonna call this selected, so selected color, and it's gonna equals to select the value of the product color. So the selected value function is actually gonna identify the selected value in a particular table, okay? The selected value of a column in a table, okay? And so I'm gonna go ahead and close it and say return. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our label. So I do this because I want people to know what they're seeing. So I'm adding like my own you know, value label. So for this one, I'm gonna say the color is, right? Um, the color is this, right? If is blank, if my selected color is blank, what do you wanna do? Say, well, there's no filter, I'm gonna show all colors. Otherwise, select the color. Close it up, press enter. Okay, I've just created it. Now it's ready to use it. So, through the magic of YouTube, right, um, I've already created the one for selected country also. Um, so we have one for selected country, and looks like <laughs> I named them the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and change that one to selected color. So I want one to be selected color and one to be selected country. Oh, Patrick, such a silly boy you are. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a table and I'm gonna add both of them to the table, right? Select the country and select the color, right? And so what I'm gonna do, shrink this down a little bit, bring this up, go here, go to my headers, change it white, because I don't wanna see the headers, I don't care about that. Go to my grid change the color of that to black, and then go to my values and increase the font size to, let's say 12, right? So you can see it. Expand that out a little bit, give everybody a little room to breathe. So now you can currently see that the country is United States and the color is yellow. But if we go back and we go search up this table, let's use France. We're gonna right click on this row, drill through the sales details and bam, Right, now you can see it's France and black. So it automatically will pick up the selected values of the tables that I've drilled through too. Yeah, that I drilled through too. So it's easy to set up. The you know, DAX expression is not too hard to write and it just works. It's great, it's beautiful. These guys in the desktop, these guys in the Power BI team, they're doing a great job, all right? So I'm curious, how are you doing this today? What are you using? What method are you using? What type of DAX expression you're using? You know, um, if you have any questions, comments, you want to provide some alternatives to how you do it, post it in the comments below. If this is your first time visiting the channel, be, please be sure to subscribe. And if you like my video, give me a big thumbs up. And as always, from Adam and Patrick, 
Thanks for watching. See you later.